Last time I left off was on the frame rail in there when I found out they were kind of like Swiss cheese. So uh, we ended up in ordering two new frame rails, uh, left and right, and a auto twirler pro cart. Um, it's an expense I didn't really want, but in order to replace those rear frame rails, I've got to jig the car so that it will not move. I'd already uh, sandblasted the rear axle and uh, I went ahead and I'll show you that. I painted it and I did a disc brake conversion kit on it. Very happy with how it's turned out. Now I can cover this up with plastic and uh, stick, it, stick it in the corner until I'm ready for it to put it back in the car, which will be a while. Well, Jess, it's up, it's level, and now we have four, six, eight points of stability, and I can start replacing frame rails. So this is uh, Project Challenger. It's been a tough few days here out here working. This was not an easy job. Um, thankful for my lovely wife for her assistance out here. Um, metal is not cheap either, I just tell you that, because I had to buy that center bar there. and Yeah, we're talking uh, over 200, 200 bucks just for 24 foot of three by three. But yeah, um, she's higher than she was on the other stand, and now we are secure. So I can take down any one of these sections to replace the rail, uh, have it bolted in certain spots, like here. Then this part here is lined up, let's see through the rusty floor, with the hole that goes through the frame. Uh, back here I have it centered, right there on, in between where the leaf springs go. And on the back, I've got to finagle it a little bit because it's a rusty hole, but there's a bolt hole there and there's a bolt that goes through the frame and uh, that's where I'll be lining it up. So when I cut this frame rail out, I'll know exactly where it goes according to how it lines up on this piece by the bolt that goes through there. Rough. 
Eventually. It does, huh? Yeah, man, you work. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm working on it. You working on it? I'm working on it.